The different types of endocytosis Endocytosis is a cellular process in which substances are brought into the cell. The material to be internalized is surrounded by an area of cell membrane, which then buds off inside the cell to form a vesicle containing the ingested material. Endocytosis includes pinocytosis and phagocytosis. It is a form of active transport. The term was proposed by de Duve in 1963. Phagocytosis was discovered by L. E. Mechnikov in 1882. Schematic drawing illustrating clathrin mediated and clathrin independent endocytosis of synaptic vesicle membranes. Endocytosis pathways can be subdivided into four categories, namely, receptor mediated endocytosis, cavulae, pinocytosis, and phagocytosis. More recent experiments have suggested that these morphological descriptions of endocytic events may be inadequate, and a more appropriate method of classification may be based upon the clathrin dependence of particular pathways. With multiple subtypes of clathrin dependent and clathrin independent endocytosis. Mechanistic insight into non phagocytic, clathrin independent endocytosis has been lacking, but a recent study has shown how GROF1 regulates a highly prevalent clathrin independent endocytic pathway known as the click slash jeek pathway. The endocytic pathway of mammalian cells consists of distinct membrane compartments, which internalize molecules from the plasma membrane and recycle them back to the surface, or sort them to degradation. The principal components of the endocytic pathway are, it was recently found that an isosome serves as a portal of endocytosis in yeast. The major route for endocytosis in most cells, and the best understood, is that mediated by the molecule clathrin. This large protein assists in the formation of a coated pit on the inner surface of the plasma membrane of the cell. This pit then buds into the cell to form a coated vesicle in the cytoplasm of the cell. In so doing, it brings into the cell not only a small area of the surface of the cell but also a small volume of fluid from outside the cell. Coats function to deform the donor membrane to produce a vesicle, and they also function in the selection of the vesicle cargo. Coat complexes that have been well characterized so far include coat protein I, COP2, and clathrin. Clathrin coats are involved in two crucial transport steps, receptor-mediated and fluid phase endocytosis from the plasma membrane to early endosome and transport from the TGN to endosomes. In endocytosis, the clathrin coat is assembled on the cytoplasmic face of the plasma membrane, forming pits that invaginate to pinch off and become free CCVs. In cultured cells, the assembly of a CCV takes one minute, and several hundred to a thousand or more can form every minute. The main scaffold component of clathrin coat is the 190 KD protein called clathrin heavy chain, which is associated with a 25 KD protein called clathrin light chain, forming three-legged trimmers called triskelions. Vesicles selectively concentrate and exclude certain proteins during formation and are not representative of the membrane as a whole. AP2 adapters are multi-subunit complexes that perform this function at the plasma membrane. The best understood receptors that are found concentrated in coated vesicles of mammalian cells are the LDL receptor, the transferrin receptor and certain hormone receptors. At any one moment, about 25% of the plasma membrane of a fibroblast is made up of coated pits. As a coated pit has a life of about a minute before it buds into the cell, a fibroblast takes up its surface by this route about once every 16 minutes. Coated vesicles formed from the plasma membrane have a diameter of about 36 nanometers and a lifetime measured in a few seconds. Once the coat has been shed, the remaining vesicle fuses with endosomes and proceeds down the endocytic pathway. The actual budding in process, whereby a pit is converted to a vesicle, is carried out by clathrin assisted by a set of cytoplasmic proteins, which includes dynamin and adapters such as adaptin. Coated pits and vesicles were first seen in thin sections of tissue in the electron microscope by Matt Lyons and Parker George. The importance of them for the clearance of LDL from blood was discovered by Richard G. Anderson, Michael S. Brown and Joseph L. Goldstein in 1977. Coated vesicles were first purified by Barbara Pierce, who discovered the clathrin coat molecule in 1976. Thanks for watching.